was another early start, and as I started my journey to the mountains, the first signs of daybreak were showing on the eastern horizon. I was headed east, which felt slightly different as I usually head north or west when heading to the mountains. But by the time I reached Dundee, night was giving way to day. From Dundee I headed north and I was soon past Kirimuir and driving along the wonderful Glen Clover. My objective for today was now in sight. Winter Corrie. By the time I parked up, the first rays of sun were hitting the tops of the hills. And I was soon heading along the south side of Glen Clover and towards Winter Corrie. I'm in Glen Clover at the moment, look at this, and the sun is up, and uh, yeah, I'm hoping to go up into Winter Quarry, which is just over to my right. Um, the plan of action is uh, Easy Gully, which is a grade one gully, and the clocks went forward last night, but I still had to get up at the crack of dawn, I think the alarm was set for quarter past five, which in real time is quarter past four, well not real time, but my body clock time. So these are at an alpine start because it has been quite mild recently but there's been overnight frost so I'm hoping to get to this gully before the before the snow softens I'm really hoping that it's uh, it's in good condition but uh, <laughs> I'm a bit concerned because I am sweating at the moment and the sun is up um, anyway the first bit of mountaineering has been trying to get across this bloody boulder field <laughs> I decided just to cut diagonally across and should have I think I should have just gone along and then up but anyway Let's get into the quarry and see if the uh, climb's in condition. Let's go! After a short, steep pull-up, I was soon in the lovely amphitheatre of Winter Quarry. The skies were blue and the sun was out, hitting the faces. It was lovely. there and uh, the snow's actually pretty good, it's pretty bomber but the route I was going to go up, which goes up that cleft there called Easy Gully, just a grade one gully, there's a big drooping cornice right at the top of it and I don't fancy being under that if it falls and there's been lots of rock fall and bits of ice falling down this face with the sun in it so I've re-evaluated my position and as opposed to going underneath all that stuff I'm going to Head round in some uh, some ground here, which doesn't go underneath the the bigger cliffs. And it's in the shade, so hopefully the uh, ice and snow will be a bit more consolidated. And I'm not going under any cornices. We're gonna go around there onto the ridge, which is between the two quarries. So the uh, I think eastern uh, eastern uh, rim of Winter Quarry. And I'm just gonna do a circuit. I might go up to Drish, but yeah, it's uh, it's a fabulous day. I'm gonna enjoy it. I don't think I'd enjoy that uh, gully, knowing there's stuff falling down and what have you. Anyway, so I'm going to get the crampons on, head up onto the ridge. So with my crampons on, I was soon heading up the lovely bomber snow towards the ridge line between the two quarries. There's nobody else here. Fabulous. The snow was great. And I soon found myself back in the sun with a view down Glen Clover. Fantastic. I was really looking forward to this. Well, as you can probably see, that's me uh, out on the ridge now. It's quite run out down there into the, uh, the second quarry. I can't remember the name of it. But uh, I feel quite vindicated and not 
Uh, you can go up easy gully because this snow here, you see that? The sun's got it. The snow coming up the wee gully there was a uh, bomber, but I think I've got up easy gully with that big cornice. The sun's been on that, we've been a bit, uh, a bit dodgy anyway. So um, I'm just going to do a circuit round Winter Quarry and down the Scorry. So, uh, aye, it's a fantastic day. It's going to be blowy up there, but uh, who cares? Skies are blue, sun's out, shades are on, tops are on, tops aren't the half yet, so anyway, let's go. So I've just stopped to do a piece of camera because the wind's died down, it's been quite blustery. Excuse me. And uh, yeah, it's lovely big snowfields up here. You can see my line of footprints where I've come around the quarry. And I was just going to rim the quarry, but Drish was looking fantastic. Look at the blue skies behind it. So I thought I'll listen to pop to Drish, head back, and then I'm going to head down the scorry, which is down there, that uh, bridge line down there. So. This is wonderful, it is a bit blowy at times, I think it's going to be really blowy at all, but yeah, spring in Scotland, eh? Woo! <laughs> the weather was great, but there were gusts of wind coming and going, but by the time I reached the summit, they seemed to have died down, and I reached the summit, sat down and enjoyed the views. This is the summit of Drish. I am sat on the trig point. It's quite a lot of snow in here in comparison to the last time I was up. You can usually hide behind the rocks, and it's, uh, it's lovely. There's still bits of clouds starting to fill in now, but uh, yeah, we're only about we're back at nine, I think. Back at nine o'clock, so uh, nice and early. But I think the clouds going to come in, so I'm going to head back down uh, the scorry, get the crampons on, ice axe out, and head down there. Cause it can make it a bit steep, but uh, yeah, what a fabulous wee morning! Absolutely super. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to sit here, get a bite to eat, and enjoy the views. After enjoying a bite of lunch on the summit, I was soon headed off and back round the top of Winter Quarry and down the Scorry. It's a steep, steep descent and uh, crampons and ice axe were essential here. But what a place, absolutely beautiful. 